Hey, hope you're good. Just Matt here. I uh, just wanted to shoot you a little video today, actually, and as you'll see in front of you, I've got a, a really good website up in front of me, um, precisionnutrition.com. So Precision Nutrition is a company that uh, world leaders in terms of nutrition coaching for uh, for professionals, and so one of the courses I've done is, is their course. Um, what I've wanted to shoot for you today is a video, I guess, around an approach that if you are looking to lose body fat, um, that I just want you to be aware of that as, as an option for you. Now, there are you know there are many ways to achieve your goals, okay? Um, but here's here's something I want you to understand a little bit about, just to give you another option um, if you get stuck or if you fancy you know taking a look more uh, more in more detail to this. So, firstly, first and foremost, it's really important that obviously calories are are an arbitrary unit, okay? But they are important, okay? If we are utilizing calories from poor quality sources of, of food or products, then the impact of those calories on your hormones, okay, will not be the same positively as those who are those foods who we know nourish the body and provide more nutrients. So, give an example: one thousand calories of broccoli and chicken, okay, will give you more nutrients than one thousand calories of vodka and French fries. Okay, so. Whilst the calories are equal, the nutrient value is different. So it must must underpin this that the, if all else fails, the nutrient quality of your food is the most important thing I can teach you about. Okay, the calorie in the calorie content. Okay, is is kind of the next step if you like. So what I've done here is I've entered in some of my details just to show you this, and I'll put a link to this below uh, below the video so you can see. So. If we want to lose a pound of body fat, let's just say, we know that that kind of equates to 3,500 calories, okay? And so if we do 500 calorie deficit over seven days, we lose that one pound a week average, okay? How we create the deficit is really up to us. So if we want to do, add in more exercise and reduce our calories, then we may be able to create more of a deficit uh, by doing that, obviously making sure that we eat the right type of food so we recover, okay? Now, this body weight planner, if you like, is, I, just, I just love it. I think it's a great tool, and I think hats off to Precision Nutrition for getting this onto their website. Um, so I went through my details here. So 176 pounds, male, 33 years old, 5 foot 9. Physical activity level, that's just relative scale. Pretty active at the minute just due to the training I'm doing. Um, in terms of the, if we turn those variables off, that's, that's absolutely fine. If you want to turn them on, you've got you know other other nutrients that you can pop pop in there as well um information but with this this basic here so i just to say hypothetically i want to lose 10 pounds okay? I, I don't want to but i'm just gonna just for the purpose of this and i want to reach my goal in 120 days because i've got something coming up in 120 days that i want to do okay so you can pop the date in if you want to now i don't plan on this occasion to to change my physical activity level okay so if i knew that i was currently doing three hours of exercise a week and i thought actually you know what i could I'm going to do four, then that would be a 25% increase in my in my physical activity level. Okay, during my you know to maintain my goal, um, once I get there, I'm going to change my physical activity level. Um, you know, I'm going to do 25% less. Okay, so it gives you an idea of what you need to consume when you're not doing as much exercise as well. So results. Um, bear in mind, I'm not going to change either. Results. Here we go. So in order for me to maintain my current weight, I need to consume 4,339 calories a day. Uh, for me to reach my goal of 166 pounds in 120 days time, I need to eat this many calories per day. Okay, and then once I get to 166 pounds, I need to consume. I need to consume these this number of calories here. So it's gone up slightly from our, you know, when we're creating our deficit. Okay, that's to do with my resting metabolic rate. So the length of simulation here I put is 150. So you can see that during the first 120 days, this is where I am. I reach my target, and then I go on holiday or whatever I choose to do, and I try to maintain that. Uh, thereafter for the next 20 days okay so that just gives you an, like a nice illustration if you like of how in each day um thereafter so let's just say I, i'm not a big fan of weighing at all but let's just say after 20 days i want to check and see how i'm getting on or maybe even 15 days i can see that right okay so i should be there right now okay if i'm on track to hit my goal in that to, in that time okay so i hope you've find that you know relatively interesting um and certainly as i said it's not for everybody but i do want you to kind of look at um you know the kind of conventional uh, type, you know, wisdom that is is around this, and understand that we do need to bring the calories back up once we hit um, our our goal, because we don't want our resting metabolic rate to fall off. Okay, when you've done that, all right. So the, this one here is a fantastic little planner. Um, have a little play with it, and um, yeah, let me know what you come up with. Speak to you really soon. Bye bye.